Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Reconnected with Kelly. Looks a little different. I am actually on location shooting some other videos, but I didn't want to miss a chance to send this out to you guys. I'm going to reconnect you today with my buddy Shane McAnally. He's a Grammy winner. He's a producer. He's an incredible songwriter. Everybody knows him. And he is now on an amazing show called Songland. If you're looking for something to binge that you may have missed out on, check out Songland. So great. So I sat down with him. We talked all about season one and two of Songland and what else is happening. I hope that you enjoy getting connected with Shane McAnally. One of our favorite shows with one of our favorite people, Songland, is back season two. I get to talk to my buddy, Shane McAnally. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So good. All right, season two. Oh my goodness. Let's first of all, let's digest season one. I remember talking to you about it and you were super pumped and excited, but then you released it out into the world like you do with your music, basically, just to see what happens. Were you prepared for that feedback? That's a really, really good way to sort of describe it is like music and it is like songs and you, you think you know and you think it's great and you think you did good. And then when you show it to people, you always see and hear the cracks. It's like, oh, even if they don't say anything back, you're always like, oh, now I see all the things I wish I'd done differently. Um, I think in the first season, because we hadn't been given any real playbook, we were just thrown into it and sort of said, you know, people are going to pitch you songs and then you're going to help them get it ready for the artist. And then it's going to come out. It all sounded good, but I remember thinking, how in the hell are they going to take all these hours that we have recorded and make it into a show that's, that fits ultimately in 45 minutes with commercials. Cause you know, it's an hour and um, they somehow told the, the story. So after knowing that and going into the second season, knowing that they could pull it off, knowing that the editing would actually work, I feel like it was a lot calmer uh, that Ryan Tedder and Esther Dean and I, we knew the way it was going to come out so we could just go in and be creative. It feels a lot more settled this season. Uh, I, I really do feel like and always hope that the bar is raised with everything that that I do, that anyone, you know, does creatively, you want to outdo yourself. I feel like we just did. I mean, this season, the songs and the talent uh, just really blew me away. I think there were probably songwriters who were tentative the first season because they didn't know what was going on. So they waited till the second season to try out. Uh, and that really, that really helped the, the level of material and not to take anything away from the first season because we had amazing talent. I just feel like this time it was even tougher on the artists to choose because there was just so many good songs and so many great songwriters. It was just awesome. I can't wait for everyone to see it. I'm so excited for everyone to see the Lady Annabellum episode, the first episode, because it's Nashville and all of these incredible, uh, you know, songwriters that you really do have to be at the top of your game to, to go in with a Nashville artist because these Nashville artists, they are not messing around when it comes to songs, you know, it's, I, it's, have it's to, the top. I have to say, in, in seeing this and, and knowing that you're bringing in Charles and Hillary and Dave, who are all fantastic songwriters on their own, and then to bring them into the room and know, okay, these people are, were you more nervous for Charles and Hillary and Dave because you're bringing them into your world? Or were you more nervous for the songwriter walking in because you know how good those three are? Both. I was nervous because I've written with Hillary and Dave and Charles and I know how hard it is when you're writing with people that are that good of songwriters. You want to make sure you bring your A game. And then I also was nervous for these writers and you'll see that in the episode when a couple of them come out and, and yeah, their songs feel really good and it's nice. Like you're dancing along. But my comment a couple of times was this lyric would not fly in Nashville. Uh, not with these guys, not when you're talking about people who have not only won every Grammy under the sun, they've actually won Grammy song of the year, all genre. This is the top level of songs. And so luckily we had uh, songwriters that were completely willing to go in, dig in. 
I, I think it's an amazing episode. People are going to really be shocked by these transformations and excited. But, you know, to see Lady A, like, on the spot, sing these songs back to these, these songwriters in three-part harmony and do their thing to it, it's emotional. I mean, these people were crying. I get it. I was crying, you know, but I'm always crying, so that's not big deal. <laughs> It's not hard to make you cry. We're like, oh, Shane's crying again. Um, okay, so question for you about this. Coming off of season one and it being so well-received and doing so very well, it almost feels like you were coming off of a big hit record and now you're following it up with the sophomore record and we all know that scary, like, sophomore slump. Were you nervous about like making season two reach that level of season one and go beyond. Definitely. I think that because of the sort of frenetic energy of season one, because we were so sort of scared uh, and that's like making your first record. It's like, you're just so heightened. Everything is so heightened. And so I think settling in on the first couple of episodes that we were working on this season, they're not in the order that we recorded them in. Uh, we felt that like, are we there? Are we out doing it? And then we saw some pieces back. And I think the reason it felt like that was because we didn't have the same level of nerves uh, as far as what was gonna happen. It was like you said, more about nerves of, can we repeat ourselves? And ultimately we want to outdo ourselves because uh, when it comes to, you know, creating anything and, and making records, everybody wants their sophomore record to outshine their first. Hopefully you learned and you grew and you evolved. Um, and I don't know that the season outshines it this that way, but it certainly is a different feel. It feels like uh, there's, a, there's a more of a heart to this one. This season feels like we had some really emotional moments and we got to dive into some things uh, in the in the process of songwriting that shows, yeah, it's fun, but it's really cathartic. And a lot of times with what's going on in the world, and of course we didn't know at the time, but even before Corona virus, we were dealing with things in this nation that uh, we weren't dealing with during the first season. So for people to be able to put that stuff on the line and be able to say, music is the only thing saving me right now. And, uh, I relate to that. So hopefully that comes through. I love seeing you. I love talking to you. Shane Magnelli, thank you so much. Kelly, so much. I'm glad y'all are healthy and safe and love your family and love you. He truly does connect everything in Nashville. Like everybody has some connection with Shane McAnally. So if you love this video, and I hope you do, please subscribe at the bottom and hit the bell. You'll get a notification when new episodes come out. We do have a new one coming out later this week. In the meantime, I hope that you are staying connected with all the people and things you love the most. Bye.